Uh, hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I am Karmajolt. This game is Heroine's Quest, the Herald of Ragnarok, which you can probably read, and I am about to do it. Um, oh yeah, so I named my save file so I wouldn't forget which one it was. And I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, I was at least sneaking around. I'm gonna look at this thing. A big anvil stands outside so that the smith can work outside where it is less hot. Of course, this winter is a bit too much less hot. Uh, okay. Just in case it wasn't obvious from the anvil outside and the frequent clanging noises, the sign shows you that this is a blacksmith's workshop. Well, I'm gonna sneak away from it stealthily. Oh, did you see that? So stealthily, in fact, that I learned how to be stealthier by observing myself. Which was impossible because I am too stealthy. Uh. Ah! Midday. I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm just gonna see what's outside the town, because why the fudge not? Uh, well, this looks like Yarnvadir, if I say so myself. Let's try to look at things. Atop the city wall, a bright flag waves in the wind. Here's a fucking tree. Oh, um, I know you. The gate stands wide open. Herver is a young and frail looking woman in, in a plain blue dress. She speaks in a hushed voice and only rarely smiles. You almost feel an aura of sadness around her. What is it? Um, what can you what tell can me, you tell me of, the of the forest? There are raiders and vargs by day, trolls and undead by night. Avoid, Avoid the, the trolls. trolls. Ooh, okay, am Avoid I already cold as balls? Um, do you know of the blue do icy you know flowers? The blue yeah, icy flowers. forgot about those. I didn't. Magical flowers never touch them or eat them. Um, I bid you I farewell. Bid you farewell. Stars guide your path. Jeez. Okay, so I'm already like dying of frostbite. How the hell do I exit the town without dying? In that case. Okay, so there's clearly something I have to figure out. Like, maybe I have to find a coat, for example. Yo, this guy! One of my favorite weird-necked characters. Do you have some good stories for me? I don't. I am cold as shit, and I can't get out Let of us here. Let speak of the woodlands. There's a forest around for Sigtuna. It is full of wolves and trolls. So Mother says I must not go too far from the city wall. There's lots of trees, of course, but... There are lots of trees. Learn you some grammar good. Mm, jabberwocks in the woods. Uh, okay, yeah, we had that, um... That conversation, but I didn't ask him about the blue-ass flowers. The flowers are pretty, but Mother told me to never touch them. Yeah, you might die. If you touch one, you will freeze. It's like standing outside without a warm coat. I hey, wait. Them early in the afternoon. That's what I was just talking about. Training my sword. Except I might fall into the flowers if I lose my balance. You never know. Um. Good luck with your okay, training. Okay, see ya. I'm just gonna tell Come this back soon and tell me about your adventures. Oh gosh, they're adventures. Agility. I gained so much agility just then. Okay, so I'm completely warmed. I did find those fuzzy boots last time. Wait, did I put those on? Oh, a magic map. Um. So wait, hold on. So these, you hold it in your hand for a few seconds thinking of what to do with it. Can I use on self? Is there a self button? No, maybe not. Um, it doesn't appear to be something you can do with it now. Okay. Am I wearing them? Is that, am I already wearing them? Because it... I think it did tell me that I slipped them on, but then I wouldn't know why they're in my inventory, and I thought maybe it would, like, display that on the screen. Um, maybe I can ask this wizard guy for, like, a fire spell or something that I could just burn the forest down and just, uh, you know, warm everyone up. So... <laughs> I just have these boots. Wait, what's in this vase? Uh, made of a type of stone unknown to you, or don't the hallway, it is clearly imported from some foreign, faraway place. What are you trying to pick up? The stairs? Wait, maybe I wanted to read that. 
Stronger hands than you couldn't take this castle apart. Stronger hands than mine, you mean? All right, all right. Ooh, look at all the shit. I have shit. found or traded for many esoteric objects. Which How did I he know I was there? The esotericism of these objects. A castle a will become forthcoming in the future. Um. Alas, I have not yet found the legendary Philosopher's Stone of legend. <laughs> like Harry Potter? Perhaps I should ask my good friend, Mumblemore, <gasps> who is my friend. It is an HP reference. The fireplace is essential in keeping this drafty room heated during the winter. In addition, it provides a convenient and cozy place for roasting food. Noted. If I had any foods... A strange-looking head adorns the fireplace. Rather than being served from some unfortunate creature it appears to have been wrought out of clay severed that's what it said this is my secret ingredient which is a secret it is also secret what it is an ingredient for you know i think i got you dude i think i know what you're talking about it's weed things again traveler as it is not the first time that i greet you yes i'm sure we are both busy people if you have pressing matters I am not too busy to discuss those with you again. Um... How may I be of assistance on this Thor's day? Or can I otherwise help by assisting you? Yeah, you got a coat for me? Uh... I am curious yeah, I'm what curious about the magic. magic. What you got, dog? Since you asked me what I sell, I could sell you a magic potion or two. Which are potions that I have created through magic. You mean if alchemy? You talent, or chemistry? Spell of shadow or spell brewery? Of these require the talent of magic to use. I don't think I have that. Um, can you give me an empty thing? I'm interested, I'm interested in the splame. In the, flame the splame fell. The flame aura spell will create an aura of flame around you. This aura is primarily useful in combat, as the flames of the aura will repel or even hurt an enemy trying to wound you through the aura. Yeah, it sounds in like... Addition, this aura of fire can set things on fire. And its display of fire looks great at parties. Nice. You require I like magical this guy. training to learn more magic spells that you can train in. Okay, you have so not trained sufficiently in magic to learn this particular spell. So how do I train my magic spell? Something about the shadow, healing potion. Oh, it needs something to, need keep something to keep me warm. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Certainly. I have this magical device that will magically keep you warm if you place the device magically around your neck. It is made from real wool. Very magical. Mm. You mean a scarf? <laughs> well, actually, it is a scarf. I'll and take it. it. Keep you warm Probably. as a scarf, which is almost like magic, except that instead of using magic, you can use a scarf. And I don't need to train in a uh, scarf using. Let's offer him 18. Oh. 15, that is. I believe my valuable goods and services have a higher value uh, because they are serviceable good as well as good services, which deserve to be valued with more valuta. So... Let me try again. If I offer you a lower price, then I expect you to bid a higher price. But if you were to bid a lower price, and I would offer you a higher price, we would never agree on a suitable price. Okay, but that also doesn't make sense because that's not the way haggling works. Well, um... Can you give me an what about an empty flask? flask? I don't know why I would need that. Let's offer him one. It's a laughable offer. Laughable. I'll laugh at it because of how laughable it is. <laughs> offer me a better deal, so that we may laugh together at a more suitable offer. All right, this guy knows how to bargain. I find your offer acceptable. Therefore, I accept your offer and offer you the wares that you were being offered, so that you may accept them. Okay, so I have a flask. Something else. I wish you See ya! Alright, I'm gonna get out of here, time I think. That I return to my duty. Okay, I skipped that conversation because I think I heard him say some things about duty before. I have a magic map. An empty vial. Okay, well, I don't know how to make money. And I feel like I need that scarf. 
Is this a door I can open? The door appears to be barred from the other side. You can't see a way of opening it. Well, what's over here again? I think there's like a prison, maybe? Oh, I'm so sneaky. Can I pick this guy's pocket? Oh, I'm not conspicuous enough. I am so exhausted that it hurts to move. Holy shit! How often do I have to rest? Uh... What is that dog? Dimly lit. Any warmth from its flame is not traceable. You see a bucket full of cold glop and a bowl to serve it in. This tasteless food is obviously meant for the prisoners. What's this? Interested in our tinderbox? Ah, you can take it for your mighty heroine. We have plenty. Whoa, thanks. I didn't know I was. Wait, there's nothing important here. It seems like something pretty important. You take it with you, as Snorri suggested. Well, that guy seems to like me. Uh, you have no desire to taste that goo. There's nothing important over there. I wonder if um, using stealth uh, costs more stamina. All right, go through the door. Exactly like that. All right, endurance plus one, I think, is a good thing because it means my stamina won't drain as fast, right? I assume, I mean, I guess I'm gonna go take a nap in that house again. What you doing here, dog? Greetings again, trap. How may I be ever? Okay, so he's not gonna say anything different. What can I find what in Yarn Vidir? Look at me fast talking this guy. Look at me swindling him out of information that he you would gladly give up. This forest because there are trees that get in the way of your view of the forest. Derp. The forest is known as Yarn Vidir, or the Iron Wood. This name is a contradiction since wood is not made of iron, which it contradicts. But perhaps whoever named this forest <laughs> simply likes to play golf in the forest. If you would know That's where I usually play golf. Called Yandidia, which is Not by choice, I just can't located. really aim. Then please ask me details about I, mean, I don't forest. start in the forest, I end up... Hey, tell Do me about them icy the flowers. flowers. These dangerous flowers are alchemical components, which I sometimes use for alchemical purposes. But they are dangerous to use as components. You should not touch the flowers. Oh, you okay. Avoid touching them, certainly avoid stepping into the flower bed, because you would be touching them with your legs. Or my boots. The alchemical flowers. I'm not are naked to touch, yet. Which is why they are dangerous. Do not touch them, unless you want to touch a deadly flower. <laughs> what do you know about the trolls? You know about trolls? Most well known of the trolls is Trivoldi. I know that guy. I saw him in cutscenes, and he mugged me or something. It is said that one head is named Three, and the other of his two heads is named Valdi. Although this would lead to a quarrel between the two heads of the troll regarding which head should claim which part of the name <laughs> Trivaldi. It is said that Trivaldi is in the service of Egtha, a frost Egtha? Hardly the even knew there. The well, see ya. I wish you good health. It is time that I return to my duties, because I am dutiful. A duty to return to. I'm sure you can return. Okay, yeah, I heard all that before. Um, oh, is that my friend? Um, Welcome, traveler. Lithrazir. Yeah. Be in an endless winter with our food supplies running out, but I still manage to Let's keep, keep my, my tavern, tavern open. open. Ooh. She means that literally. Ass. Uh, what can you tell what me about this? Sure. City? Lots of things. If you want to hear them, being a barkeep. You hear all the <sighs> Some people get very talkative in my inn if they do not pass out from a drink too many. Well, um, let us let speak see. about Snorri. Oh, he can talk smoothly enough, but you should know that he has a girl in every port town within uh, a hundred miles. He does. Then some. Well, mm. oh, I'd like to buy some of your like wares. Of what your does he have wares. for sale? Drank? I'm sure you would, but you would have to come to the Slapenir Inn when it is open. Oh, yeah, like business hours. 
Well, I'm just gonna stealthily sneak away from you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I just closed the door right on her. Sleep for four hours. I'm gonna take a short nap here while you two ladies, um... I shall leave you in peace. Oh no, you don't, I mean... Wow, am I kicking both of them out right now? Okay, hopefully that recovers some of my stamina or something, like, I, I... I just feel... What have you been doing here for four hours? What was she doing? And what's in this chair? Uh... Rain or shine? Okay. I don't have to read that. What's that thing? As the Jarl promised, a package of rations has been delivered to the guild house. Oh, yeah! He did say something about... something. This should keep you from starving. Alright, cool. Well, maybe I can go into the woods and not freeze. I don't know. How do I... How do I solve that problem? Alright. We're stepping out. And I'm walking. Um... No, because that would mean you could see me. I don't want to do that. Uh, action submenu. Stealth movement. Here we go. That bird has no idea where I am. Damn, I just gained so much stealth. I'm so white. You consider that by moving stealthily, stealthily through the woods, you are less likely to draw the attention of nasty enemies. That sounds like a great plan. Oh, yeah, okay, that's what I did on purpose for sure. That is absolutely what I meant to do. Um, so, yeah, those are the icy flowers. I don't... Hey, don't I have a map, by the way? Oh, yeah. Yes is the answer to that question. And I proved it by showing you the map that I was talking about. Um... Alright, so I'm just going to keep going south because it looked like I was at the north part of the map. What is this? You make your way through the cold and... You believe there's a clearing to the east? Alright, well, let's go that way. Okay, so I'm not getting cold. I'm not... Never mind, I had to say it out loud, didn't I? <gasps> there's a cave? Many birds are native to Yarnvadir and apparently still manage to find food despite the harsh winter. Um, This looks like a fucking cave. You cannot make out any details. I don't know if I want to go in there. A heap of bones lies discarded near the cave entrance. They appear to have been chewed on by something with big teeth. The whole area feels like a place of death? While in closer inspection, it appears to be a human skull, probably belonging to an unfortunate tra traveler. Uh, well, let's see what it has to say. Humans tend to talk more when they've got some skin on their bones and an actual body to go with their skull. All right. You have no desire to carry around a human skull. The bones have already been picked clean. How gross. Uh, I'll come back later. Um. I don't know. Maybe I should go in the cave, but, but I'll probably explore a little more. Uh. Just to see what's around first. Man, I'm like half frozen already. That sucks. Ooh, it's an archery thingy. A crude painted target stands in the clearing. Judging by the tiny holes, it has been well used. Um, let's see what I got here. Uh, you hold it in your hand for a few seconds, think, think about what to do with it. Does that... Ah! You are so exhausted that it hurts to move. You had best get some rest soon? Are you kidding me? You retrieve the dagger from the ground. <laughs> I punched the target. Something tells you this is not what the target is for. Um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, actions. Okay, so I think I can lower the difficulty and uh, and I won't have to worry about being frostbitten. I'm going to do that for a second because I think it'd be completely boring to keep having to go back to the town and sleeping and warming up like every two minutes. Sound good? Great.
Did I not do it? Ah, here's some music as if an event is about to happen. What's the squirrel got for me? Holy shit. Um... I'm gonna belittle oh, him, because I don't squirrel. like his voice. Really? really? Uh, no, I'm not cute. I'll, I'll oh gosh, them. it's like someone trying to be Gollum, but... Alright, it's growing on me a little bit. I can dig the voice slightly. Uh, what is your name? What is your name? I'll ask the squirrel. You do not, you do not recognize me? me? I don't. I'm sorry. Oh, it's like the most common Pokemon. <sighs> okay, you're laying it on a little too thick here, I think. Um... Dooms! A doom house! Humans have such poor senses, but I knew you would recognize me. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that Doom Squirrel. Oh, I skipped something, whatever. Uh, I don't know if I can really handle this, so I'm gonna skip this conversation up a little bit. Um, so how, exactly how exactly is my Doom at hand? hand? I shall poke out your eyes with my sharp, sharp tail. <laughs> His sharp tail. Okay, hide the acorns. I your bones and not on your marrow. Why do you oh, want my? to do? But me? why? Well, oh, the stupid human asks me why. <laughs> As I'm the bringer of Ragnarok, with these very teeth, I gnaw through the branches and roots of Uldrasil. Oh, oh yeah, he's gonna eat a tree, fall. and that's why we'll oh, all okay. die. It's but an upstart, Fenrir, an amateur. It has been prophesied that I, Ragnarok, the Doom Squirrel, shall herald the twilight of the gods. Hmm. I okay, so you I think this reach this squirrel eyes. character is trying a little oh, too hard to be funny. So you walk on the tree, you I the think the punchline is being the extended a little too far, which is exactly what I do all the time with every joke ever. So maybe I'm not uh, allowed to complain. Leave me alone. Say ya. I should be back. Okay. I, ah. That was weird and uncomfortable, but like partially funny, so okay. Alright, Crystal Shard, I see you. Uh, well, what's to the south here? It appears I am freezing. There's nothing over here. What does map tell me? Okay, I went pretty far to the south. Hopefully I'm not, like, dying right now. Um, and I'm gonna go to the west. Is there nothing in this forest? What's up here? Stealth plus two. I must have gotten by someone. What is this? What is this? The small gazebo is crafted out of marble and crystal. It would be a pleasant meeting place if not for the freezing cold. I'll pick it up! Uh, yeah, okay, so... Uh... Maybe I could have gone... Dude, IDFK! Like, where am I supposed to go? Oh, am I warming up a little bit? Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, am I in combat now? Oh, okay, so I forgot all about this. I'm gonna stab him. Uh, he hit me though. Oh, that wasn't so hard at all. I defeated a Varg. Uh, it's dead, and upon closer investigation, it appears to be extremely dead. I'm gonna bring it with me. Predictably, the Varg wasn't carrying anything. However, with the right tools, you may be able to get something useful from his body. So, interesting. Okay, so let's try 
Let's try this dagger. Using a dagger, you cut off a strand of your hair? Why would I do that? You have already equipped the dagger. You cut some edible meat out of the dead Varg. Unfortunately, you lack the skill to skin a dead animal. It's trickier than it looks to get a workable pelt off of it. So, but I still got meat though, right? Here. Meat! Yes! I'm gonna go cook it in What's-His-Face's house. Um... Let me check that map. Let me check that map. Let me check... Let me check... Let me check that map. That's my checking the map song. <clears throat> it's not mine. I didn't make it up. I can't take credit for that. <gasps> Wait, there was a ferret! Did I miss it? I probably did. So... Okay, what's to the east here? Wait, what's this on the map? There's a blinking face on the map. I uh, imagine I'm supposed to go talk to this person. Oops, I clicked out of the window for a second. Nothing! You didn't see it. <clears throat> well, just making all these footprints. Damn it, the ferret tricked me again. So I'm gonna go south a whole bunch. Okay, it's good that it put that little thing on the map, that guy's head. <laughs> Hopefully it's just a floating disembodied head. And when I get there, I just have a complete meltdown. What's that? A small furry creature hops around cautiously, keeping an eye out for larger predators. There's nobody to talk to, I wanna talk to the ferret. You get no response, but maybe if you made some kind of magical cookie to stick in your ear? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I shall go this way. Um... What? You see a forlorn viking warrior hoping to get a meal or some gold from your corpse. I'm gonna fight the fuck out of him. Alright, run to the center. This is how you fight honorably. Uh... Can I not hold... Okay, so the timing is difficult because it's so slow. Um, I took a little bit of damage. I got weapon use up. Uh, extremely dead. Okay, I got the same... Text. Searching the body, you find a bottle of mead. Yes, which he probably used to forget about his sorrows. <laughs> okay, he didn't talk back. Yeah, get a yeah. I'm gonna go down one more. Uh, maybe I'll get into less encounters if I sneak. What is that? What is that over there? You make your way through the cold and forbidding yarn veneer. You think the forest is less thick west of here. You see no end of the trees around you. No, no, no. What is this? The vorder doesn't speak. What is that? You believe it is unable to do so, but it seems to point in a certain direction. A small vorder spirit hovers nearby, trying to attract your attention to something. I was going that way anyway, dog. Wait, is it... Oh, shit! Okay, it's a dead guy, I guess. The man is lying on the side of the snow. He looks badly hurt and appears to be unconscious. Um... <laughs> Should I take his stuff? <laughs> Searching through his pockets, you find a few silver coins. Well, finders keepers. Examine his wounds. You're no expert, but he looks gravely injured. You're not sure what, to, what you can do to help him. Uh, are you okay? Oh, he moved a little bit. What is your what name? What is your name? The man tries to look up, but is too weak to respond. Uh, well, I'm gonna continue this conversation then. <laughs> what, what happened, happened to, you? to you? Nothing. Can you Can get you up? get up? C you are weak and you deserve to die here. Uh... The monster that attacked you is gone. You must bring warning to the village that they're in danger. The village that they are in danger. You know, by whatever harmed you, I guess. Never send a man to do a heroine's job? Yeah, never I'm gonna say that. To Booyah. yeah, feminism. Job. Fuck you. Uh, alright, never mind. Don't respond to that. Um... You have, you have to, protect to protect me! me. It's not, it's not safe, safe here. here. Uh... 
Get up, don't be such a wimp. Is this, this really the strongest, the strongest warrior? warrior? I don't know why all these text options are coming up, but I'm gonna say you all of them. Take vengeance on the creature that hurt you so. <laughs> what, what kind, kind of warrior, warrior are you? Are you? Taken down by a single troll? I just killed a man and a wolf. If you stand up, I shall bake you a nice cake. If you stand up, I shall bake you a nice cake. Dear Mario. Um. The monster that attacked you is gone now. I don't do know what to worry. say. I don't know if any of these will do anything. Get up. Do <laughs> not be such a wimp. Do I will worry. I will defeat the evil trolls for you. I don't know. You must bring warning to the village that Oh, I said that one, didn't I? Um, okay, so... None of this is working. You have to protect me. It's not safe here. You are weak and... I don't know if any... Have, have you, you no pride? Hmm. Pride? You... So... Can you get... Do not. Have you? The monster. What? All right. Do not. Nothing is working here. Um. Is. Never mind. Never. Uh. Well, let's try to grab him. I mean, is this gonna work? You haven't done this before, and you don't think you can carry a man all the way back to this village? Yeah. There has to be a better way. Get the fuck up, dude! Can, Can you get up?
if Lake Ganvig were not frozen solid with this fell winter. Hmm. As warden of the city, I take it as my duty to know all the residents. What can you tell me? The city about the big-ass city. Is our chief rival in these woods. Chief it's rival? Ilfing the Craven seeks to place us under his rule. Oh. But we stand strong in resistance. Oh, wow. Okay, that's part of a plot. That's part of the plot that seems pretty important, I think. What can you tell me of the forest? The endless trees of Yanvidir are dangerous to the unwary, but prove no match for a seasoned warrior. Well, I'm pretty seasoned, and the only season I know is winter. Tell me of the rain. There are bandits that live in small camps in the forest to prey on travelers and merchants. Oh, and thieves and the bunnies. Is making them more desperate than usual. They have no honor and little fighting skill. I have often seen them use a wild overhead slash that leaves them wide open for a counterattack if you are fast enough. Ah, I might be. Varg. So oh, yeah, the uh... Vargs in the forest. Yeah, the we know. We live here. Northland are not to be trifled with. A single Varg should not be dangerous. But they tend to hunt in packs large enough to trouble a seasoned veteran. They know to approach from downwind like a true predator. Oh, interesting. Thought any trolls? Oh, Yonder yeah. Well uh, the one you were trolls. just talking about. They're tough as a wall of bricks, about equally clever. Ha! I get it. The because walls are smart. Two headed cretin, Frivoldi. They force thunder shatter his bones. <laughs> it is or my sword, like I was saying leader. earlier. By bashing troll heads until none dare oppose him, they should tell you of his strength. Wow! Eyes so he's the strongest troll the of them all. I By the way, uh, fucking fire. flowers that kill you. An old garden near Munavigir, with a strange wooden bridge. Oh right, the I'm gazebo. Sure it has mystical significance, but to me, it is not but frozen grass. Uh. Tell me about this. I of Theasi. I know you said. Okay. All right. I wish you good health. Well, I, glad you didn't die. You are pondering something. Oh, no, I really yes. wasn't. I believe oh, yes. this troll who attacked you is also after other people. The dastardly creature would do that. Yeah. Since In fact, he wants me, to kill everyone. His next target is likely to be Voland, the smith. And why is that? Because he is the strongest warrior in Fornsic Shula, as I am here. Thank Odin that he has the Jarl's soldiers to protect him. Huh. Nevertheless, I shall warn him next time we meet. Do what you must, Traveler. I shall take the time to fortify this town, to keep the troll out. Well, <clears throat> time for me to be trolling on out. Um... <sighs> nice walking skill. Oh good, my 17 health, 19 stamina. Looks like I've fully recovered. <clears throat> Um, I think I shall save the game here. Um, this is fine. I will just save it, autosave Yarnvedir, and I'll end the episode right now. Right freaking now. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Heroine's Quest. Um, if you like this video, put a comment. That's really all I ask for. Um, but you know, you don't have to do that. Just, if you have something to say, go for it. Anyway... Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Ugh, calm the fuck on.